get this resource, just go to corechristianity.com forward slash radio and look for Can the Devil Read My Mind? Well, let's go to a voicemail from one of our listeners. This came in from a gentleman named Marcus. My question is, are there books that are taken out of the Bible? And if so, why? Hmm. (laughs) Well, the answer is no. Now, if you ask someone else, they might say yes. Uh, but the answer is is no. What we have in the Bible, um, these 66 books that we have, uh, Old and New Testament, is the authoritative Word of God. It's what Christians, what the church has received as inspired by God. In the Old Testament, you know, you had the Old Testament canon of Scripture, we might say, affirmed by Jesus and the apostles who lived at that time, quoted from all over the place in the New Testament. In the New Testament, we have those books that were received by the early church as well as as the very Word of God. On and you know, and there, there was a, there was a, a, a science to it, if you will, or, or um, rationale behind why certain books were were included. Um, one was apostolicity. You know, these are books that were written by an apostle or a close associate with the apostles. Um, they're older, right, and antiquity. Um, so this, these weren't written, um, you know, hundreds of years after the fact. Um, but be, beyond that, you had other things as as well. Um, just the, the the coherence that we see um, with Holy Scripture, the the promise and fulfillment. Um, and so the, the church early on, sometimes people think that you know what what happened was the church gathered together and they were sort of you know deciding you know here's the books that we pick. Uh, but it, it was it was more organic than that. It wasn't like a, a a church council or something like that. It was it was the church throughout that region receiving these books as the very word of God and using them as such. I mean, even even in the New Testament, Peter already identifies Paul's writings as God's very word. In fact, Paul himself can say in First Corinthians chapter fourteen that the things that he writes are the very word of God to the Corinthian church. And so, and so, you know, there have been people throughout the ages, and especially recently, I feel like, I think it was the rise of that, that book, The Da Vinci Code or, or whatnot, but people who have tried to say, you know, oh, there are these secret gospels or other books that just didn't make it in. But if you it took the time to read those books, the quote unquote Gnostic gospels, you quickly realize, okay, there, there's something here that just doesn't fit um, this is not a part of the Holy Scriptures. Um, and and I, I remember back when I read, for example, the Gospel of Thomas, some of those other other books, I think it was in college, just thinking, okay, there, there's, there's, you know, it's just like puzzle pieces that, that don't match. This is, this is a part of something totally different. Um, and so, and so, yeah, while there are some people who will say, yeah, there, there are books that were taken out or hidden or, or whatnot, um, that's just that's just not the case. What we have is the authoritative word of God, and so we should study it.